Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing this afternoon? Hello, hello, and welcome back. Pisces, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here this afternoon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the support, all the love that you show me. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for, um, you know, subscribing when you send me love. You subscribe to my channel. Thank you a million. Um, thank you for all those who like, share, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for all those who go onto my web and purchase my candles. I have to tell you, when you get these candles made, they don't get made overnight and just send them. You got to wait till everything settles in the candle, okay? Um, people want things in a rush, but it don't go that way. Um, if you like to get candles and you want people to rush your candle and I don't know where you're going to get it from, then you know you, you got the right to decide what you want to do, right? But I'm only telling you how I work, right? So, um... That's the Black Magic Spellbreaker candle. If you feel like you need to break things off of you, um, know that when you send me your, when you put an order, make sure you double look and do everything double to make sure your address is right and all of that. Because sometimes, you know, your stuff goes somewhere else. You you lose your your um your package and um it's not easy to replace everything. Okay. So make sure that you make sure that you double check your address and where the package is going to. All right. This is the Abundant Prosperity Healing and Growth Fertility Candle. This is a Love Yourself Candle. And everybody knows I get down with the Justice Candle. Okay. Justice Candle is for many things. If you want a court case, you feel like you're being mistreated, um, um, criminal, uh, divorce, child support, um, Social Security, uh, disability, um, a lawsuit, um, anything, um, anything that you feel like you need to um, get this thing working for you, you need to do it, all right? Um, make sure you put the right intentions on these candles as you light them up. I don't do no black magic. I don't do that. But I damn sure would take the devil out of some. okay? The black magic spell breaker candle is to break all... Um, curses, and especially if you're going through a general curse, all right, that's a good candle to break all ties. Um, the Palo Santo and the Sage, just know that when you light that up, you need to open up your windows after you air it, um, do all what you're going to do. Make sure you open it so it can leave your house, leave the energy that is around you. Um, I know how to do a lot of things there, um, Particularly um, if somebody's going to get worked up and want me to do things for them, I can tell you how to cut things off for you. Uh, this is the um, the red brick dust, all right, and the walnut. Walnut is to work on your shadow side. I would love to see more people working on a shadow side because when you work on your shadow side, that means that you are looking at yourself. And when you work on yourself, that means you attract what's for you, opposed until you wanting something that is not for you, okay? Um, my oils come in oil forms and in dry form. You can put this in anything you want, anything you want. Also, I sell crystals and stones. My bracelet, my jewelry is what I make and what I have. Um, I also have... Uh, what I'm known for is my soft detox bath. If you don't know, you need to ask somebody. This right here works wonders in your life. I also have herbs in the bag. If people like to take herb bath, that is the thing for you. All right. So let's get popping with the readings, Pisces. Thank you again for all those who like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all the everything you do. Oh, also thank you. Someone sent me a donation. I just want to say thank you. I don't know if your name is Anthony. I'm not sure, but I did get a donation from Anthony. Okay, so um, Anthony, thank you so much for your donation. I woke up to that, and I want to say thank you, thank you a million. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but I did see Anthony here left me a donation. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right because I can't find it here. But I do want to say thank you, okay? A million and one. Thank you for everything that you do for me, okay? 
Um, so what else do I want to say? Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to get to the post office to melt everybody's stuff out today, okay? Here we go. Spirit or Angel Jonah or please tell me everything I need to see. Spirit or Angel Jonah or please tell me everything I need to see. Okay, so um, here you have a military person. This person can be an officer, can be, um, stop Lulu, can be working for the military, um, a boss, a police, um, detective. Um, somebody um, serve in the military, okay? Somebody's very strong-minded here. Tell me more, tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more about this person. Um, someone here is loving you, all right? Like... Somebody wants to be with you. Somebody want to conversate with you. Conversation here, okay? Um, thief. Somebody feel like they're getting away with something. All right? But they're not. All right? Somebody feel like they got their own money here. I don't need you. I got my own. Um, somebody is really... Somebody says really put together... Somebody here is always thinking about something here. Somebody's like a ball. Somebody can be very, um, like, setting their ways with you, right? Um, maybe you haven't been with this person real long, but this person, you, you, I feel like you feel like you got your own. You can make your own, right? Tell me more about this person. Tell me more. Somebody's like a dictator. Somebody wants to run somebody's life. Wants you to be a certain way. All right. Uh, I don't know. Somebody likes to be the boss. Likes to run the show. All right. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Somebody's very intelligent. Very intelligent. Somebody's trying to get away with something. All right. Somebody's trying to. You know, all in love with you, but they still trying to get away with something. Tell me more. Tell me more about this military person. Tell me more about this military person. Tell me more about this military person. This person is set in their ways, all right? You can't take them out of how, what they believe in, all right? The two of pinnacles, all right? Somebody is here. Cooking shit up, cooking shit up, screaming, come get your orders. Maybe a chef, maybe a boss that you're working for, maybe somebody running their own restaurant or their own business, running, uh, you know, bringing balance into a situation, even though sometimes it may be up and down. This person is very trying to balance something here, okay? Someone is very military, set in their ways, don't like the. Like, not a noisemaker, all right? And somebody that's not noisy, but like things to be ran smoothly, all right? Um, keeping the obstacle open. Um, time will tell, okay? A new direction. Choose carefully. A difficult choice, okay? Um, Jupiter in Capricorn. A choice, a response. A need to balance many aspects of self juggling ob obstacles, right? Obstacles, um, seeking harmony in something, all right? With all these rules and responsibilities that you've been juggling, you might be feeling a little bit imbalanced, busy, too busy, making um, your your our calendar. You may be overbooked. You may be feeling stressed out, all right? Stretch in every direction, all right? Somebody can be feeling like they stretch, like, you know, people calling you in and wanting you to do this and taking the orders. The kitchen's calling you. Everybody is just, like, pulling on you, all right? Tell me more. Tell me more about this person. This person likes to fry things up and want you to be there when they call you. It's like they... They want to run the show. They want to, you know, they they the military person. 
They call the shots. They want to call the shots, all right? Um, very, very bossy. Can be a Capricorn. Can have Capricorn in them. All right? Uh, tell me more. A time to look for more insight before a decision can be made. Somebody needs to know more about a person. The choice, um, the choice will be in your in your hand. A difficult time to make a, a decision. All is not yet seen clear. More will be revealed as time passes. So it's something here that you're going to be seeing. All right. So the Six of Swords is moving on, honey. Somebody's packing up, moving, leaving a home, leaving a situation. All right. Somebody, it's time to make a move. First, it was all like the honeymoon stage is over with. All right. Somebody is leaving something behind. Someone is moving on to something more stable, more quiet. Feeling more at peace with yourself. All right. Somebody is leaving a situation behind, honey. All right. Um, Mercury in Aquarius. Okay. Strategizing. A successful plan and facing conflict. Elevation. Confronting issues. Okay. All right. So. Persevering and solutions. I always say you are the solution to the problem, right? Moving on. Karma waters. All right. The answer are seeing, seeing clear. You have the ability to achieve your goals. A good position to make imp improvements. So it's time for you to move on from something. You are moving through a period of realization and things can feel um, troubling, like something is not feeling good, right? Rough waters, right? During these times of this transaction, truth that, trust that it's a better future awaits you on the other side of this change, all right? Maybe you going through a title of passing or a, 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 oh, you might be like, um, the right of the passenger or an intense, uh, spiritual transformation. These experiences are profound, personal, and you might feel alone right now. Even when it's difficult to you, uh, to, to accept, um, to accept, um, uh, to accept help, right? Assistance from others. Remain open to receive help from the most unexpected places. Allow the general support of the universe to move you through this ocean of elevation and lean towards the silver lining on the horizon. Okay? Sometimes we find ourselves drift because we think we are ready to move on, but our heart is still aching to um aching um to the past. What's old chapter needs to be closed? What do you need to cho close? Um choice guidance in the front in a form of um renewing hope or getting ready to explore fresh beginnings on the opposite side. So it's something that you have to overcome. And it may not be easy, but you're going to help, help to, help is there to take you to a better place where you're going to feel better, right? From a person here that wants to come to you or it's the beginning of something, but it can be where you leave it. Something new, something that, you know, the honeymoon stage is over. Tell me more about this death. The eight of wands. So you're going, moving like this, because it's a roller coaster ride, right? Some it's like ready to get on this ride, and some look at this deep um, ride that you're going on, and it's, it's, it's like 
it takes you ups and downs, like going through ups and downs with somebody. Like, can I trust him? Can I not? Uh, this this whole thing is just like a roller coaster ride. Like, you don't know, but you feel like you're going through things and moving fast, but it's like you're going on this roller coaster. Oh, I'm sorry, Pisces. Like, you are definitely on a roller coaster ride here, right? Mercury and Sagittarius, right? Mercury and Sagittarius, right? Self made, no resisting, clear. Um, uh, position, action, swift passing, right? So it's something here that um, today is the waxing crescent Capricorn moon, all right? Now, with this here, with this, look at this vibe. Like you, one minute you up, the next minute you down. But it's going fast here, right? Speed, volcano, travel, and making a split decision. And upcoming positive resolution, hustle, and good news can be coming, right? Um, and good outcome is moving forward. Clear decision and instruction is correct all right something is going to be corrected um it's good time i fall into the flow of this quick energy and shift face face on with this desire a time to take um advantage of your skills in the matter of whatever it is that you want to do right action it means take action right you know those moments in life that feels like a a like you going very fast, right? Um, this type of speed and energy is at play. Is inspiring, is inspiring, and ready for you to move in a positive way. And it is now. If you have a gut feeling that needs to be acted upon. Listen to it. With all of these movements, avoid being swept along by any unexpected or unpredictable ties by having clearly, by thinking clearly about your desires and your direction. Sometimes you may be moving so fast that you let the, um, the waves just take you in when you feel like you're drowning. So make sure you see what you're doing and don't be rushing into shit. All right. Marshall, this, um, this beautiful window of swift opportunity is, is in the shadow, right? The eight of wands suggests there's a, some sticky energy influence your decision. Got to be careful about that, right? You want to move, but or you want to move but it's something here if you if your foot is not stuck it's like you feel like you're in a quicksand right then you're lacking the key it's like you're locking the key in a car but your car is going into quicksand but you gotta act quickly to see or you think it quick or whatever it is don't let nothing make you make moves that you're not ready to make all right don't let nobody influence you to do something that you don't want to do, right? You you want to move, but um, you can't. It's like you feel like you're in quicksand. Then you then you lock the key in the car, right? If you frustrated between having a tendency of um, hesitating and running so fast that you are burnt out, it's time to bring some balance mementos into your um life all right consider movements that feels right in your heart is the best place to start so don't be rushing anything don't rush it don't rush it honey you might be feeling like okay if i rush i'm gonna make the wrong move you can be feeling like you're making the wrong move if you're rushing something you better not let nobody rush you into doing something you don't want to do. Take your time because this is like you going on a um on a roller coaster ride. So you gotta be careful 
And it's a decision that you like, I, I, should I leave, should I stay, should I go, should I, you know, it's a decision here, right? But the decision is coming from somebody that the two of pinnacles is like making sure because it's also like this. Like, you know, you don't need nobody to take you off balance. You need to be going straight for because it's an arrow here that's telling you get off that exit when you shouldn't get off that exit. When if you get off that exit, shit, you might wind up in a fucking hell hole. That you can't get out of. You you better start thinking before making quick decisions. All right? You need to start thinking correct. Because this two of pentacles and this eight of wands is telling you it's, it's moving fast. But you better slow your pace and start thinking. Just because you think it's all that, it might be the worst decision that, that you're making. And it's about all this love coming back. And oh, I'm in love and... Honey, shit, just as quick as they move in, it's as quick as they get the fuck out of there. You know, it's like you, you're you moving too fast and you're making some decisions, but you know in your heart that this is not good. So you got to be careful on how what decisions you're making, who you listening to, and who's guiding you, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Don't be quick to leave something or quick something if you don't have a backup plan, okay? You need to have a backup plan. All right, don't have nobody rushing you, and then you are fucking shit up. All right, don't listen to everybody. All right, if I tell you to do something, you think it ain't right, don't listen to me, shit. If you think it's right for you, then stick with what you think. My ears are burning. Somebody is talking a lot of shit about me, damn it. All right, they damn sure are. They talking about me. Yes, they are, baby. I mean, my ears are burned. Are burning over here. Over here they burning. What the fuck? Somebody is talking some lot of shit about me. Alright? And my decisions. Don't worry about what I'm doing. You need to worry about what you're doing. Don't be watching me talking shit. I'll do what the fuck I want. Alright? I ain't quick to make no decision. Whatever I make. I'm taking care of me. I ain't asking nobody to do shit. All right? Uh, somebody may be a cook. Somebody up here acting all crazy. Shit, you, you say I can get the fuck out of here. I don't need to be in this shit. All right, tell me about this Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles, it is the queen. Oh, no, this is the king of Pentacles because it has um horns on it. All right, so this person either own a business, um, engineering, all right, likes to boss people around, you know, can be a Capricorn, Taurus, a Virgo, very bossy, and, you know, just think like, yeah, I got it, and this and that, but just, you know, got all this green growing around them, but they got this bird probably, um, you know, wanting to be free. They like to be free. They don't like to be held down. They they like to just move around. They know how to move around too. All right. So somebody here wants. They just want. They got money to do whatever they want. That's how they feel. All right. So you are um. You're making a decision here that your hands are tied. Oh my God! You got snakes around you here. All right, it's like you seeing these people, you looking at them, but they got snakes around. They trying to keep you tied up. They 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 trying to see what they gonna do. They looking up and see, see how you tied up. They got a, it's a snake here trying to bite you. You tied up. Your hands are tied up behind your back. I mean, you got people here trying to demolish your ass. All right, that's why you walking out of that shit. Then this is um, the devil card. Like this person, or oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, it is. The lovers, the lovers. This might be a, uh, yeah. Is this the lovers? Hmm. Is this the lovers? It is the lovers. Um, somebody here, 
is trying to hang your ass up. Let me see something. Somebody is here trying to hang your ass up. And it's like they don't want you. Like you seeing things, but it's things being done to you behind the scene. Um, what is, I'm trying to see what this damn thing is. What does it mean? Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, what does it mean? Let's see what number it is. This is, let's see here. So, uh, V1, V1. So that's the number six. The number six is the lovers. Let me write that down because y'all know I don't know nothing about this. You know, so this is the number six, the lovers. All right. So, so somebody here feeling tied up and somebody here is being sneaky trying to, look at that snake. This is Pisces. They're trying to keep you hung up. And it is like, it's a secret here. Somebody don't want to see, want you to know something. It's two men and they got somebody tied up. They got you tied up. But it's a snake here. Somebody being sneaky. Big time. Big time. Yes, honey. They doing this shit at night. You walking away from somebody because somebody being sneaky as fuck. And the lovers making a choice here. Now, if I could show you this, it shows um a man and a woman, right? But in this case, it's showing two people. Like somebody here needs to make a decision. Somebody's here is trying to hide shit. Somebody got more than one person involved. All right, but I also see an angel here with the sun, right? Hmm. It's like I don't know somebody married, hiding shit. I don't know, being secretive outside of marriage. The five of wands, petty arguments, a lot of petty arguments. All right, a lot of petty arguments. Something is, you know, is something here that is arguing. Maybe somebody trying to keep somebody stuck in a relationship, but it's a lot of arguments. Somebody wants to leave somebody. Somebody, it's like the honeymoon is over. Somebody's walking out. Somebody's feeling stuck in the middle of some shit here. But it's a lot of petty arguments. All right, very lot of pettiness. Tell me more about this eight. Tell me more about this five of swords. Somebody don't want you to know something. Tell me something here. Somebody's arguing and fighting. Maybe you don't know what all this shit is going on. All right, somebody might be married. Somebody might be trying to have a threesome. All right, um, arguing with somebody behind closed doors. All right, tell me more about this Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands, all right? The Eight of Wands is, I mean, the Four of, of Cups. The Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is somebody feeling like they missed out on an opportunity. Things was moving fast. Go, you're going in and out, like up and down with this relationship. Something got to do with money here. Thief. All right. But somebody feel like they missed out on opportunity. They, I don't know, somebody feel like they bored. They missed out on something here. Um, Somebody's with somebody that is, it ain't no love there. They're not in love. It ain't no love there, honey. There's no love. Somebody is... Bored, honey. Somebody here is bored and it ain't no damn love at all. There ain't no damn love. And it's like, let's not even fake it. We know good damn way ain't no love here. Ain't been no love there. All right? So, 
the moon and cancer, the four of cups. All right, so missing out on the opportunity for abundance, a time to meditate, frustrated and bored to death with this person, being in a being a brat, not appreciating what you have. Okay, if you are finding yourself bored, unsatisfied, or frustrated with your current situation, know that you are likely missing the value landscape, and there are percentage just beyond. Uh, persevere or your visions all right often we become a so focused on our own um feelings about a situation that we can't look at nothing else that's arriving to us these opportunities remarkable things that are happening if you remain open to shifts even a slight in order to see your situation in in a fantasy, fantasy new light, you will learn that the present moment is filled with the most um, dynamic magic. Instead of focusing on what you don't, what you don't have, right? Focus on what you do have. It's like somebody feel like they're frustrated in this situation that they in. But I feel like somebody also feel like they missed out on opportunity with somebody. Or somebody feel like they this whole situation is boring me to death. Or somebody feels like they're going on this up and down ride. Or things may be moving too fast. Or, you know, like one minute you up, one minute you down with this person. Like, I don't know, Pisces. You feel like, I don't know. Like, how they say, how a man say it. I'm not trying to fix nothing that ain't broken. Like, shit is fucked up. But it's it's too much. I feel like somebody's just making a decision to walk away. Like, making up their mind saying, look, it ain't shit here. And I, I don't know. It ain't, it's not for me. All right? Somebody is keep going. One minute they want to be, the next minute they don't want to be. One minute they want to be, the next minute they don't want to be. Uh, oh, I'm in love with you. One minute, I'm not in love with you the next. You know, somebody's too bossy. Somebody's too controlling. Somebody only see things their way. Somebody's frustrated with the way shit is. Somebody is leaving somebody. I know that shit. And this time, they're not coming back. They're not coming back at all. You're saying, I have enough of this bullshit that ain't serving me not even a little bit. So, Pisces, this is telling me that Sometimes you had just about enough and you said, I just don't feel like going through this shit no more. It's not for me. It, what, it won't be for me because it just don't feel right anymore. I had just about enough. Somebody has a deep feelings for you, but I don't feel like you got deep feelings for them anymore. Okay, I feel like you done with this shit. But if it was feeling, it ain't no more. It's like somebody just don't understand you or they maybe they um, underestimate you. They think they know you, but they don't, right? Um, I just feel like something here, it just doesn't feel right. Somebody wants to be with you, but I guess it's too much shit that happened already, all right? And somebody want to free themselves. It's like... Um, freedom, it's like you freeing yourself from all the sacrifice that you've done that you never received anything for, okay? Somebody here is really, really contemplating about you, all right? Somebody may be obsessed with you. Somebody may think about you when they drunk or when they fucked up. Somebody just, somebody finds you irresistible, but you don't find them irresistible. You're like, shit, I, I don't know. This ain't for me. All right. Maybe you, you've been through so much that, mm, but it's a lot to be revealed and it's telling you don't rush into anything. All right. Don't rush into it or watch what you're trying to do and because sometimes we want to leave something to go into something else and the worst thing we can do is leave 
what we have to go into something because it's not what we wanted. But we think it is, but it's not. And sometimes we feel like we can just do bad by ourselves. So Pisces, if you need to read and get it from me or someone else, but if your gut feeling is telling you something, it is the truth. And if you feel like something that this is not worth me constantly hanging on to something that ain't even worth it, let it go because it's just not for you. All right? All right, Pisces, we'll talk. If you need to read and get it from me or someone else, all right? Um, don't forget to show me some love. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I love you. Bye.